I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am just one voice representing the thousands of military women who have served the United States. As you look at this monument, realize that these proud Americans could be your wife, mother, daughter, sister, or friend. Look carefully at the faces on this wall. You will notice that women have been making military contributions since Betsy Ross helped sew the first flags of the American Revolutionary War. During that time, some women were water bearers, bringing water to thirsty soldiers in the heat of battle, while others were spies slipping past the enemy with messages and contraband hidden in their clothes or sacks of grain. Later, wanting to see active duty, some women daringly enlisted disguised as men. In the Civil War, many women supported the men as laundresses, clerks, cooks, and nurses. When World War I and II erupted, women picked up the slack, filling jobs that had been previously held by men on the home and fighting front. They occupied positions such as radio electricians, secretaries, and accountants. Ruth Wilbert, a World War II veteran from Harrelson County, pictured on the top left third panel, remembers that the women's role was to free up the men so they were available for active service. She herself was a recruiter. I enjoyed my recruitment duty. I was a surface controller. I served in many states. I never regretted going in, and I would have stayed in had you been allowed to have children. But at that time, when a woman decided to start a family, she was dismissed back into civilian service. As you inspect the monument, you will see that there are tears streaming down the middle panel. These are the tears of women whose military service was forgotten or downplayed. They are the tears shed by a family member or friend who lost a loved one in a war. I lost many friends. I was college age and my friends were service age. There was always regret and sadness when I heard of a death or missing in action. Notice the photo with the helicopter. 235,000 women volunteered during the Vietnam War. Eight of these service women never came home. Their names are now found on the Vietnam Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And these tears also represent the pride women feel about their military contribution, like the three women who had the privilege of guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington Cemetery. The tomb of the unknown soldier is pictured just below the helicopter photo. Ruth Wilbert sums it up for all the women recognized on this memorial. I felt proud of my uniform. The next time you hear the Pledge of Allegiance, think about this wall of tears. Here is a monument that represents many different stories of women from many different backgrounds. But when the panels are pushed together, the American flag appears, reminding us that our military is always united with the sole purpose of fighting for liberty and justice for all.